This is the application that we plan on migrating. And this is a recorded demo. So in here, you'll see three tiered app with a web component, application component, and a database component. You'll also notice that when we're refreshing the app, we have load balancing that will, will switch between application instance one and two. In vCenter, you'll see that the application is comprised out of five VMs, two application components, one database components, component, and two web components. In vRealize Network Insight, when we go to applications and we search for that application, you'll see that it doesn't exist today because we haven't discovered that application and we haven't saved it as an application group. So what we'll do is we'll go to discover and then click discover applications. What that does, it will analyze the flow of traffic between the different VMs that it can see and it will come up with relationships. So in here, if we go and filter by migrate, you'll see our application group here. And if we expand that application group, you'll see that it has discovered five VMs, one database component, two web components, and two app components. Now, when you select save, you can add that application group. And while VR and I will, will try to come up with a suitable name for the application, you can always edit that and name it whatever you think is uh, or best represents the application. So once you save that here, if we go in and try to type the name of the application again, you'll see that the application is there. So now I've saved my application group and I'm ready to go to HCX and export that group into a mobility group. So switching to the HCX setup that we had, we saw the map that shows my data centers and the site pairs. So you'll see we have one site in Amsterdam and the other in Oregon. We also see here the utilization of the cloud resources on the source and destination. So we understand how we can plan accordingly. Going to network extension and expanding on our network extensions, this is what allows the IP mobility of the application. So we'll be able to move the application without changing the IP, without disrupt disrupting user sessions. For that, we will need to leverage VDS on the source destin uh, source and an NSX logical uh, segment at the destination. In the migration tab, we will leverage the API integration between Virilize Network Insight and HCX using a script we will basically synchronize the application and in here, we'll add the application group that we saved previously in Virilize Network Insight and then run the script. So the script will then prompt me for a number of parameters. VRNI server, the HCX server, the HCX destination vCenter, which we can get from here. Then the HCX destination, 
which we can get from the site pairing. And plug it back here. Then it will ask for the credentials. So for Vera and I, we will put the credentials here. We'll validate them. It will retrieve the application. And then it will ask for the credentials for HCX. So once that is done, we'll go back to the migration view and we'll see that a new mobility group has been created with the five components that we saved earlier in Realize Network Insight. Editing that group, we will walk through the same steps that we've done when I was uh, demoing mobility groups. So we will create a destination folder for the new uh, application to be moved into at the destination. We will select that destination folder here. Then we will select the destination uh, storage that we will consume. And then the migration profile. So here we're validating that everything that was defined up top has been consumed by all the different components within that same migration wave. We will then save it and then click validate. So clicking validate will notify us that there will be a a small downtime window because we've selected bulk migration, which requires after the full sync, a small downtime to transition the network gateway onto the destination. So we're fully aware of that. Then what we've done to mimic a typical scenario is because we have network extension enabled, the we are um, trying to simulate a situation where the customer needs to do some maintenance work on the database and they've decided to leave that database and not include it part of the migration and only move the web and application components to the destination. So we will start executing this migration wave and you will see the progress we have um, sped up the video a bit um, just to show you and demonstrate uh, how things work and you'll see that we are switching over all the components and synchronizing the components while we keep the database component in the draft stage now this what this also shows us is later on once the maintenance work has been done we can actually resume that and move just the database component. At the destination vCenter, we will see the VMs get populated in and we'll also see that only four VMs have been created and have been powered on. While the database component remains powered on at the source because we have that network stretched, we are maintaining communications. So once migration has been completed, we verify that the VMs are still there and that the application still works. So this concludes the end-to-end -end demo integrating you realize Network Insight and HCX.